and welcome to Odense for semi-finals day at the Yonix Denmark Open. Event number nine on the 12 tournament OSIM BWF World Super Series. Not only the ninth event of the year, but also one of the five premier events. And there you can see the full list of all 12 tournaments, plus, of course, the Super Series finals, because the top eight players or pairs in each of the five disciplines will qualify for the end of year Super Series finals this year to be staged in Malaysia. Well, it is semi finals day, and what a lineup we've got for you. We're starting with women's doubles and the European gold medalists and world championship bronze medalists. The home players, uh, Pedersen and Rotoyo, they're up against Kikiwa and Maeda from Japan. Then mixed doubles and a repeat of the world championship final. The gold medalists, of course, Ahmad and Natsir, they're up against Yu Chen and Margin from China. Then women's singles and the former world champion from China are up against the current world champion from Thailand, the 2010 winner of this Denmark Open, Wang Yi Han, against the 18-year-old Rachinok Intanon. Then men's doubles and the four players on court between them have won the men's doubles title for the last three years. Li Yongdae, winner in 2011, is playing with last year's champion, Yu Young Sun. They're up against the 2010 winners, Bo and Mogensen, who also happen to have silver medals from both the World and Olympic Games. Then many singles will follow off from that and it's a repeat of last year's final. The defending champion Li Chong Wei, the world number one up against Du Peng Yu, who recently won a bronze medal in the World Championships. Well, if that doesn't whet your appetite, I don't think anything will. It really is a fantastic lineup. But before we get underway, let's have a look at the top smash speeds from the tournament so far and it's interesting with the doubles with the men's event it's all doubles players 278 that was Go Sung Kyung yesterday in the mixed doubles now when you think that Andy Money Murray in winning Wimbledon this year his fastest serve was 214 now bear that in mind as we look at the women's fastest speeds 214 from Andy Murray would not get in the top five of the women's speeds here at the Denmark Open Badminton. That really puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Three single players on the women's list as well. Now that's interesting, something Jim Lauderson and I might discuss a little later. Why men's doubles players hit harder than the men's singles. And yet, in the women's event, the women's singles players hit just as hard. Well, here come the European champions, the Bronze medalists from the recent World Championships. Christina Pedersen and Camilla Rutteyo. Number two seeds here this year in the Danish combination. They're currently ranked three in the world. And they're up against Miyuki Maeda and Areka Kakiwa, who today are appearing in their first ever Super Series semi-final as a pair. And of course, this lady, Maeda, is a former champion here three years ago, playing with Santoko Tsutsuna. Well, Christina Pedersen, well, she had the most thrilling match yesterday and she and her partner are number five on the list on the road to Malaysia. This is the list of the Super Series tournaments. Who's in good position for qualifying for those Super Series finals? Remember, of course, it will just be the top eight. And the Danes went up two places after reaching the final of the Japan Super Series, the last event prior to this Denmark Open. So I would think with their semi-final here, they'll consolidate their position at the very least, if not go up a little higher. So the Japanese pair, Maeda on the left as we look at them, turned 28 on Monday. 36 in the world ranking, gone down one place. They've only 
played seven tournaments together, as you can see, only formed their partnership earlier this year when Suetsuna uh, cut down the number of tournaments she wanted to play. And of course, Areka Kakiwa, 24-year-old, won an Olympic silver medal with Mizuki Fuji, and of course Fuji out with long-term injury knee problems. And they had a tough old match yesterday, an hour and 19 minutes against Zhang Yi Na and Kim So Young from Korea. It was an absolute thriller. Tough in the second round as well against number five seeds from Indonesia. And I thought that didn't go to three games. Look how long it took, three minutes shy of the hour mark. I wonder if that may take its physical toll. I guess probably not when you think that Christina Pearson on the left, as we look at them, the 27-year-old from Orville, well, she's been playing two matches every day so far. Her left-handed partner, the 29-year-old from Skagen, well, she only had to play two mixed doubles before she was beaten. There you can see they are the number two seeds, three in the world. position they've ever been on the world ranking. You know, all of their matches have been fairly straightforward. Yesterday, they did have to save two game points in the first game against their teammates, Kruza and Rapka. But they have looked very impressive so far. Three finals so far this year. They're trying to make it into their fourth. They won the London Grand Prix gold event and two Super Series finals this year for the Danes, both in India and, as I mentioned just now, in Japan, the last event prior to this Denmark Open. Uh, looking at Bert van Horenbeck, umpire from Belgium, Cornelia Schroeder from Germany will be the service judge. Just in case you weren't with us yesterday, Christina Pedersen involved in an absolute thriller of a mixed doubles. And Norcom Fisher saved a total of 10 match points before coming through their quarter final 30 29. First time that these two pairs have met each other. That's not surprising, given the fact that Maeda and Kakiwa only formed their partnership earlier this year. Now, when the Danes won their bronze medal in the recent World Championships, first Danes to win a medal in women's doubles for 10 years since Anlu Jorgensen and Rika Olsen back in 2003. And incidentally, women's doubles, the only events where Denmark has not won a gold medal at World Championship level. Gosh, how dearly they'd love to put that right next year when the World Championships Ladies are staged here in Denmark. On my right, Reika Kakiwa, Miyuki Maida, Japan. My left, Christina Pedersen, Camilla Ritriol, Denmark. Well, no question where the support is lying. Christina Pedersen, serve to Miyuki Maida, Lovell, play. Semi final of the women's doubles here at the Yonex Denmark Open. Good smash, channel attack immediately down the centre of the court in between the two Japanese players and former world number one, Jim Laugerson, I'm already bemused on that return of serve. Very yeah. contentious but to lift the, it. That's the two different styles of play we probably Here we go see. again. Um, uh, Christina and Camilla is, is, you know, is, is around them. They've shown over the years that the, the service situation for them is something they practice over and over again. 
um, they study it a lot, I know, on, on video. And, and as we can see already here, it's three points of service, the service situation where the Japanese style of play is more, more fluent, more, you know, less rally. Um, and you can say maybe it's a little bit too de defensive to start playing a lift from a, from a service situation. But, but the, the, the thing they probably will try to do, the Japanese pair, is to get the rallies going and, and moving. Uh, moving Christina and and Camila around on course, which is not their favorite. Uh, 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 can you say favorite? Set, uh, their favorite play is set play, you know, around the service situation. Yeah. But it's difficult to play against Camila and Christina because Camila is really, really hitting it hard and she has very, very good angles in this match. So. Serves over. One four. from the Japanese pair. Two, four. But it's, it's, it's fun to see Camila. For me, it's been fun to see Camila and Christina. You know, it really, really opened their eyes after this World Championship, and it opened a lot of eyes in Denmark around this ladies' doubles. Um, you can see they believe in their game now. Not that they haven't done that before, but it's even more now. Um, I think you can... You can actually see on a little bit on, of course, I know she's changed partner. But you can see on Camilla's mixed doubles has suffered a Zero little bit. Uh, Five, two. But the success she's had in the ladies double. I think it's more her focus now to, to play the ladies double. Nice change of pace. Yeah. Of course, Camilla Ruti, former world champion of mixed doubles, playing with Thomas Label, won the gold medal in Hyderabad in from Peterson. Uh, my goodness, that's really exemplifying what you were saying, Jim. Japanese pair love to rally, love to keep the shuttle coming back and really Seven, make opponents sir. work. Yeah. And, but you also see Camilla and Christina here, they know there's no clears. You know, they just, they keep attacking. And which is a, which is it, which is a thing over the last couple of years I've seen, we've seen in ladies' doubles. That's more and more coming into uh, the game of ladies' doubles where you used to see them, oh, we're a little out of balance. We're just clear instead now they are very good at keeping the attack and 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 uh, and getting the the girl on the front court into the game and when it, it is like this if the japanese style is like this then they, they will have no chance because this is playing it perfectly to christina and camilla um yeah it was almost like a half court attack there wasn't it yeah They have to be way more active. Well, that smash from Camilla Rutiu has just catapulted her up to number two on the fastest smashes this week from a woman. Serves over. Three, eight.
Oh, one second. That's, the, that's a better plan from the Japanese pair, you know, moving, uh, especially when Christina is at the backcourt, you know, moving her around. Um, the thing they do well uh, in the Danish couple is that they, they often hit to each other's forehand. Uh, now it's a left and right. And we often see when, when Christina has it in her forehand, she will cross smash. And opponents have a tendency to think, oh, that's safe, you know, and play it straight. But that's actually straight into Camilla's forehand. So um, it's very effective. Well, she wasn't fooled by the flick serve at all. Nine, four. Oh. Six, six. Oh. You see that Camilla goes, you know, she's hitting Five, straight nine. down the line. That's because it's, you know, if they play the net from that angle, and she hits hard, it's difficult to play long and defense. It's straight into Christina's forehand. If they decide to go long cross, well, Camilla is going to have a good chance in her forehand. So you really see those angles. They're hitting very smart. She's so constantly hitting over. So, and there you go to, to Camilla's forehand. It's it's. Oh, that's, that's better. And that, this is exactly what I mean. This is what the Japanese has to be better at. They have, Six, you know, I, I, I had the pleasure of playing against <laughs> one day out in the national setup against Christina and Camilla myself. And I actually got fooled a lot by these things. You just think you're safe by just lifting across all the time. But they're so effective in it. So you actually have to really have be careful where you place it in your defense. And this would be much better if the Japanese did more of this just basic just blocking it. Oh, clash of rackets. See, that's the block again. The block is very important. Seven, nine. Yeah, that's the clash. You see, they're already moving out. You see, Christina's moving out in the forehand. So, block way more effective. and went over all of the luck for Christina Peterson. Serves over, 10, 7. Yeah, it's a nice idea, whether yeah. it hit the top of the net or not. Pointing in a downward direction. 18, yeah. Cornelia Schroeder of Germany made the call. That was a good call. Yep. You can also see the the angle of the racket is very horizontal. Horizontal? Can you say that? Christina again hitting to the left side. 11 8 interval. Oh, 
かなんかまあ、まあ、自分の気持ちでいったら自分の気持ちで、うん、気をつけて気をつけていたらいいわ自分の硬いだからミスいてもいいやミスいてもあ、ね、最初の一回でパーンロビーにいて最初のレシーバーしっかりって最初を。今ロ,ロ,ロングサービスでたぶんレシーバーがちょっと遅いだから自分がロビンいて最初のレシーバーしっかりいてよちょっと遅い準備が遅い Men ellers så skal vi ture og afgive og så med en lokker og vores stift er god lige nu vi er helt fremme hvor den skal være hvor vi får trykket godt flat og også får lagt de korte ind ja stadigvæk variation på vores egen server ikke? ja Kenneth Jonasson, the Danish coach, able to glean anything of what he was saying? Yeah, he was talking about uh, we need those stop jobs. Uh, th that's what we see Camilla use here. Uh, and then he said, you know, let's continue using variation in the surf. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they want to save to, to be, uh, we'll see some more flick serves and more surf to the sides. Um, But I think the Japanese pair right now has, you know, they've come better into the match than in the beginning. It's it's longer rallies. It suits them way more, and it's it's not a game I think Christina and Camilla likes. Danes, of course, former winners of the mixed doubles event here at the Denmark Open. Oh, that's oh. very, very good. Again, to the left side of... And that's something, you know... I think, you know, if you, if I was the Japanese coach, uh, they should have seen that by now, you know. It can't be that they're not ready for it. 90% of the smashes is going in that direction when Christina is playing, so. See, again, she plays it to that side constantly. That goes down as a missed opportunity. But there was, from my perspective, a little concern there that once again, a little hesitancy between the two Danish players when the clear went down the middle. And they're both having to play, in essence, what is the round the head shot. When I watched them in the final of the Japan Open, they must have got caught out with that literally four or five times. Yeah. But that's because they move out to the side. Constantly, so, so that's actually nobody covering them. Yeah. Well played. Eleven thirteen. But it's 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 very you know that it's it's kind of what I mean with Camilla and and uh, uh, Christina's game is that um, which I when I played them myself you know they're very uh, disciplined in what they're doing you know they are. They're not, you know, they're not just doing something. They, it's constantly uh, uh, an agreement on what they are doing. That means if a shot comes, which is difficult for their system to react to, they have problems. Um, so the whole idea for the Japanese pair right now is to actually play away from that system constantly. 14, and it's not just like you can say, ah, I'm just going to try, you know, let's see. You know, they are too good. So you have to force yourself to play away from that system. Service over 12-14. That's a good smash.
Uh, early on from but that was the right Rachel. idea. The idea was right. Um, 15, 12. Thirteen, fifteen. Oh, it was a wonderful drive defence from the left hander. Driving it deep into court. This was the one. Like me, me, there's a little bit better at the net. 14, 16. Yeah, she was always the player at the net in her yeah. partnership with Suetsuna. She's good at reading it. The one, yeah, oh! gone long. Service over for seventeen fourteen. Fifteen, seventeen. Oh, can she stepped into that? Yeah. Ooh, oh, that's going wide. Yeah. That's the one again, isn't it? But you see, it, 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 there's nobody there. Oh, my goodness me. No! Good rally. Serves over 18 15. I think if, if I was Park and I was watching this, no, I don't think I need to tell Park anything. <laughs> but but if I was watching this, I would tell Maida and Kaki, uh, uh, um, Kagiva, uh, to to every time that they're into a, a fight with power, take the pace away, play the rally instead. Only play with pace and power when you're on top of the uh, rally, because Camilla is too strong. Um, so when she gets into this situation, we saw her in the last rally. Drop shot, block it away from her. We've seen it two times now where she comes forward really quickly and she's just too strong now. Yeah, and Park, of course, is the head coach to the Japanese team. Park Dubon, oh, former uh, World and Olympic champion. See, that's why they have to be patient, the Japanese player. See? Oh. Yeah. And you can see there, look, look at it, it's not, you know, the Danes, it's not like the Danes Reserve are saying, up. okay, we know that 16, shot is coming now. They are 18. standing in the same position all the time. So you got to be really, really strict at how you play them. Okay. 
So just two points the difference. 16, 18, crucial couple of rallies coming up right now. Oh, what a good return of the flick serve. Great angle. Serves over. 1960. Not a full swing of the racket, just click the racket head over the shuttle. Good serve again. Mm, too flat. Serves over. it a little, creating a steeper angle, taking a pace off the shot. We'll see if he were to try and impart power on herself, and she couldn't deal with it. Three game point opportunities. game 21 17 22 minutes and the number two seeds from Denmark applauded by the home First fans game, here Christina Peterson Camilla Ritriol 21 17 相手も前の選手が後ろ一致もいいだからクロスカットレシュは右の前でちょうどいいちょうどいいなだから二三回ぐらいロビ見てれば一回カットレシュは出てきてミス行ってもいいだからじゃあ自分が自分が前向いで結
That's a good net shot from Kakiwa. No, I, I don't understand Japanese, but from reading the sign language that Park was using, I've, I'm pretty sure he was showing the cross court block. He was showing that, you know, uh, uh, move Christina and Camilla to the other side of their forehand. And used the drop and block more. And we already seen here in the start that they, instead of putting the pace on, they're just being more patient. Uh, and Kenneth was, was more on about that the Danes have to be careful not be, to be too aggressive all the time and give away the initiative sometimes. And when they have the attack, they got to mix it up with soft drops and and uh, uh, hard smashes. So. There's the problem. Yeah. And that's, I think that was what Park was. Much better by the Japanese pair. Three, See, and now one. they don't give the Danes the, the chance to come in and control the game. They're constantly behind it. You see? They're constantly going to have to move back, back, back. And then when they can come in, come forward in the defense to get the block, or they, like you saw here, can push it a little bit more, then they're in a good position. I have to say, Jim, I'm a little bit surprised at what Kenneth Jonas and the Danish coach was, was saying there because after the final in Japan, Kenneth and I were waiting for the bus to get back from the stadium to the hotel and we had a long, long chat about this women's doubles pair in the final. And he was asking my opinion and I said, well, of course, there's no good going all out attack against either Japanese or... In the final, it was a Chinese pair. I said, of course, you've got to vary the attack. But it looked to me as if they were so intent on varying the attack, they didn't take their chances no, when, they, no. when they arose. And you've got to sense that, right, OK, now there's the half chance. Yeah. Now yeah. I really take it. Yeah. Also to show your opponents that yeah. it, it can come. If, if, if you don't show that, you know, the, the, your opponents are not afraid of it. So the whole the whole system doesn't really work, because what? why should they? Be afraid of anything if they don't show it. Yeah. Uh, um, but to me, this is this is looking. I know it's early stages of the second game. But we are there, yeah. We yeah. are there again. Yes, exactly. But I think the problem for if I had to pin out like, the problem for 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 the, for the Danes going too much all-out attack is if you compare the movement to the Japanese. I think the Japanese pair move much better than Christina and and and, 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 um, and Camilla. And that means if they hit too hard, they can also get countered too quickly. Yeah. Uh, um, so I think one. they're very aware of not giving the Japanese the chance to move them too quick around and then fool them into playing into that yeah. game. So. What, what, what I think, yes, stage. I think they, they get drawn into this, well, uh, we mustn't hit everything hard, which I totally agree with. And See that? That's, that's the pro uh, it's yeah. not a problem. But, <laughs> but, but, but now, that's reminiscent of the opening game because it's not hitting hard, it's moving quick. Yeah. So exactly. there's a difference between playing quick with speed of shot and playing quick Two, speed of movement. Seven. And we saw the speed of movement in the opening game, and so far in the second... It hasn't been there. It hasn't been there. But that's, let's give credit to the Japanese pair, because of they course. started differently. Yeah. They did a little bit more, didn't give yeah. the Danes time, moved them around, and, you know... Yeah, again, standing her ground at the nets, a real threat. Three, seven. It's a good serve. Here you go, wait, wait. That's, that's what they were doing in the opening game. Rally. But, but it suits the Japanese players better this game. Yeah. yeah. But a 
again, to me, the Danes, when they start moving quickly, they start hitting hard. Oh, yeah. And what they've got to, got to try and develop within their games is moving quickly, but hit varying the pace. Yeah. Something you, you see quite a lot from Christina is after long rallies, they, they have a tendency to go even more for it. Uh, um. listening to the coaches again but there's signs to me that this Japanese pair is going to be a better combination than Kakiwa Nein. with Nein. Fuji so and better Dusch than Maeda with Suetsuna. But nice yeah. is, gerne to hot smash and so digger du ud. Yeah. Yeah. But they hold push cord. Yeah, but let's try it just one time. Og bare så gør det. Og ellers, så du, skal, du skal bare komme af nettet. Vi skal stadigvæk. Og så lige på salgssituationen her. Prøv at gå op og lægge den enten helt kort, eller prøv at gå op og trykke. Det må vi godt lige gøre her et par gange, for lige at skabe noget uro derovre. Ikke? Og så skal vi ville spille nogle af de lange dueller, hvor de angriber meget. Jeg ved godt, at det måske ikke er den bedste, men vi skal... Jeg synes, de kommer ret meget til at synes, når vi aldrig så bliver de bare igen nu. Jamen, det må de gerne. Vi skal have dem til at angribe en lille smule også. Well, just look at that. Two thirty. Aruti Yul from Denmark. I think we're looking at almost a minute and a quarter. Man, I can't stay clear. Man, I can't. Man, I can't. Forty-three miles per hour. My dog, okay, go balance. He's quite a bit. My dog, just a bit. Yes. Now, I'm feeling the emotion. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Quite an image to receive. Ah. 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 I think one of the things we have to take into consideration here is it looks like there's a lot of drift coming from the Danes side of the court to the Japanese court. That means that, and this is very smart by the Japanese, they, they are using the, you know, the drift against them so they can play these really long lifts to the backcourt, which doesn't suit Christina and Camilla. So. Serve's over. 4.13. Well, oh, she's not happy with the error on serve. I can understand that. See mm, again the drift. Yeah. Serve's over. 14.4. At what stage do you say, OK, let's leave this second game. Let's concentrate our physical effort and minds on the third and deciding uh, game. Ten two, points. Two, two points more, I would think. Oh, looks to me as if already decided. Look, just lifting. No, but that's that's what Kenneth said. Uh, actually, he said that in, in, in the interval that, you know, we got to give the initiative away. That's, oh, that's why. Oh, that was, oh. Uh, that's Five, not the right call. No. Uh, that's all. Mm, yeah. Uh, um, he he kind of, and, and that's kind of because, you know, the Danes were not winning the game when they were in in, in attacking mode all the time. So he was, he said, we want, we have to, we have to make them attack as well. Um, so they, I don't think it's because they're 15, taking five. the set away. They're trying to, you know, may, may fool the Japanese players into be more aggressive because it doesn't suit them if the Japanese players. Uh, 
you know, get that game where they can rally. It's just wide. Yeah, but now it's I think it's time. Five. And I, yeah. now it looks like, you know. I don't, I don't disagree with the fact that the Japanese pair are very, very solid in defense, quite content just to defend. But I have to say I'm bewildered by the tactics and the advice of the coach because I don't see that the Danes will win by defending. So, no, no, so give away the attack. No, no, just sometimes, he said. He yeah. didn't say all the time. He said sometimes we need them to... Uh, to attack as well, but I think it's it's down to that. He, he, you know, he can probably see that if if, if uh, Maeda and Kagiva is getting too comfortable in their defense, then um, I don't think uh, the odds are with the Danes. But this, no, I agree. With this, this is not the way. I'll go. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Well, it's happened to all of us, hasn't yeah. it? Total misunderstanding. But I don't. I also think we will see a different style of play in, in the first set from Camila. You see now they're not talking together. Six. Now they know. They know they need to start refocusing on that first set. Yeah, Game yeah. points are plenty. For the Japanese pair of Maeda and Kakiwa. Serves over seven twenty. This time, second time of asking, 21-7 in favour of the Japanese pair. 21-7 confirms the umpire. 39 minutes played, and it is one game apiece. Okay, this yeah. First is it. There we heal up. There we up and lay press on with many variations, also with the corners. Og så spiller vi også den helt korte, da vi oppe har alle variationerne. Så skal det træde frem i det, som vi skal tørre tryk fra den her side. Okay? Men trykke, og så være klar. Ikke trykke for at vinde, det sidder bare på én. Okay? Så du spurgte om den der kryds, altså, hvis du skal slå den, så slå, prøv at slå den højt. Så jeg prøver at slå den en forholdsvis høj en, efter du har slået et drop eller sådan noget, fordi så er de bange for stikket. Et drop eller et eller sådan en altså, høj kryds. Ja, kryds. Så skal nok selv komme frem i den side. Ja. Um, ja, men vi skal have energi, når vi skal have troen ja. på det, ikke også? Og, og, og vi skal stadigvæk afgive. I kan sagtens afgive herinde. Ej? Ja. Ja. Ja, ja. 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 Selvom de lige er en, de kommer bag, hvis vi bliver igen, så kommer de. Ja. Så kan være klar. Vi vil gerne have, at de kommer til os. Ja, men nu investerer vi lige max ja. her i starten, ikke? Som vi snakker om før. De første seks bolde i hver duel, der er vi lige ind og se, hvad er det her for en duel, ja. Og så skal vi have fedterne med. Ind omkring forbanen. Ja, det skal være lidt spræk i spillet. Ja, ja, kom så, mand. Det, 
Det kan vi sagtens. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Ja. Kom så, Pia. あ、いいよ。あ、ここにいて、このサーブのついにね、3番に持ってきて。ね。あ、ロングサービスではちょっと高さでロングサービスだよ。結構いてれば準備のレシは準備余裕がないじゃん。うん。まあ、最初と同じ
William Siegels. Please welcome from China, currently World Bank number seven, and this year's winner of the Swiss Open, Wang Zhijiang. She is facing from Korea, currently ranked number six in the world. And very, the very good smash. Yeah, that's a nice Five, sign six. from the Danes. A little smile at each other as if to say, come on, we're still in there, we're still fighting. They certainly are, there's only one point in it. Oh, it's a good serve. It's a fabulous serve. I, I don't get this, you know, I really don't get it. You know, they did this, the Japanese pair did that the whole first set and they had no chance. Then they started doing different returns in the second, they played well. Now they're back to just lifting in a way. I, I really, you know, I don't really don't get it. Um, they should have learned it by now. But what's the point of that? I know. Eight, six. And not only that, they're lifting it to Camilla, who's probably one of the hardest hitting girls in the world. It's, it's, yeah. Strange. It's strange, yeah, let's put it that way. So they've gone from a winning position to t on, on, on Nine, four occasions now here they've lost in the service situation. This is diff and this is exactly what Christina and Camilla is very good at. And they, the Japanese pair, should be thinking only one thing. We don't want them to have points in the service situation. Mm, Danes have missed one eight in the last ten points. Chances. Yeah. Very, very good play from Camilla Rutil. Well, ten of twelve points. Five point advantage for the European champions to change of ends. Service return, shoot your service return. Kantan de Robin, no idea. Here off, we have been there, Trat Fram. Hey, and grab it out, more higher hofte. So, you must gerne stå cushion. Som du har gjort et par gange her, og så ind mod midten. Ja, ja. Bare blive ved med at træde frem. Og så skal vi ikke vilde for meget på den første off, eller første diff herovre. Ja, den... ja. Hvis vi ikke er sikre på, at vi træder langt ind i den, ikke også? Ja, sorry. 
Yeah, I mean, basically Kenneth said there that we need to continue doing the things we talked about, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, in the service situation, keeping the attack, and then he talked about hitting to the right side of the uh, Japanese shoulder. Um, so we see that to get into the next one. So they keep it to the side. Perfect example of this. Well, the Danes will know that it will take half a dozen smashes or downward shots to actually finish off the rally because the Japanese defences are so good. But they should have gone on to court prepared for that. Yeah. They know that's going to happen. definitely in my book and that's she's a very good player but and she is the weak link in that ladies double 13, um, six. she's not really creative and where she has to be really really good is in defense in attack you know hitting hard and it's not really happening for her right now Here we are in the third game. The Danes are playing tactically very well. They're hitting down. They are varying it. When there's a half chance for one of them to go forward to the net, they're going into the net quickly and really trying to dominate the front of the court, which makes me totally bewildered as to what they were doing in the second game, why they didn't employ these tactics. Uh, because I agree with they should doing that and they should have done it in the second, but the Japanese also did something different. You know, they were much higher up on the court. They were forcing the Danes in the backcourt. Now they're just standing. They're not doing anything. They're lifting to the middle of the court. They're not, can you say, reacting to what the Danes are doing. Um, so it is a little bit easier for Christine and Camilla to do that as well. But I agree with you. You can discuss what happened in that second set. You know, for me, it's really weird to have lost 21-7 and then be up 15-6, you know. Especially having been 1-4 down. Yeah. 14 of 16 points. So they're lifting to the middle of the court. Look look where that shuttle is. In the middle of the court. 16, 7. Yeah, another lift off the return of serve. It's all one way traffic now. And it's all in favour of the Danes. 17 7. Man, but I simply cannot understand this. It's me, it's, it's like I can understand if they worked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we've talked for a number of years now, haven't we? You and I having discussions about 
Japanese women's doubles pairs and how to us they're just far too content to defend too yeah. much of the time and on the return of serve you just the game has moved on yeah we talked about it yesterday with the Chinese pairs the top two Chinese players are all out attack yeah. they love to attack and you cannot simply cannot win matches now just by defending no. not only do they love to attack they're good at it yeah you know it's the it's the it's the a game so you don't want you don't want to give your opponents the right to play their a game no so but um but as a Dane, you should be jolly happy that they I, I have am, done I am, that. I know. I am, but I'm just, I, I have to be a little bit neutral here. Yeah. And, 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 and in, in when you see the two Japanese players, you can't help but be disappointed. Yeah, exactly. Well, having lost the second game to seven, now and they have 12 match point opportunities. A Danish combination. the deciding game and through to their first final as a pair in the women's doubles of course Camilla Ruta Yule contested the final with Lena Freya Christiansen back in 2009 with the world championship bronze medalists the European champions have come good in the end Umpire confirming the score. 21 17, 7 21, 21 8 in the deciding game, and the number two seeds from Denmark are through to tomorrow's final. See the overhead winners. Uh, well, that was. We have to take the arrows, uh, of course, from the second set, where where, where, where the end of the the, 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 the game, uh, Christina and, uh, and Camilla wasn't really playing their best. But you can see the overhead winners. This is by far where the Danes are best. So therefore, you can again be confused about why do they, the Japanese, just give them that chance? Where yeah, you know. Uh, the weakness of the, the Danes would be in defense. Um, and again, net winners, they are also uh, winning that. Uh, and if you look at the smash, 230. You know, yeah, that's, that's very a powerful. very powerful smash. So you wouldn't put a tactic out there that to play to you, you, uh, your opponent's strength. Mm. Will they book their place in tomorrow's final? Will they play against another Japanese pair, Matsutomo and Takahashi? Or will it be Bao Yi Sin and Tang Jinhua?
So that's the first of our semi-finals, which has been completed. Next up will be mixed doubles, then women's singles, men's doubles, and men's singles to finish off. And the next match, the mixed doubles, is not only a repeat of the World Championship final, it's a repeat of the final from here last year.